Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Mm. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, welcome. So I believe, yes, yeah, Cerny, we're going to focus on bathroom and poop this episode. Poop. Oh, like any good child, children, 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 poop. So, so what's not funny about poop? That's true. And one thing that I've noticed, like farts, are always usually funny, especially yes. in any movie. Like a good fart scene or a fart joke. Yes. What well, gets me every time. Now listen to a podcast. <laughs> well, Cerny, I hope you would. And, and <clears throat> besides our own. Oh, okay. So I listened to another one, take notes. And it, I was laughing extremely hard when they were doing celebrity farts. Okay. I think I heard I, yeah. I heard a clip of this. Yes. And, I mean, you have kids ranging from 3 and to 16. Okay. Or, uh, you know, youth. Roughly, yes. And, or 15 or whatever. <clears throat> Poop is funny for any range in that. And we're they nearly in, in our 30s. Poop and farts, yes. And the podcast, because I, I saw a clip as well. People in their 40s and 50s nearly doubled over and laughing of, yes. about farts. Yes. It's just something <laughs> funny know, about it flatulence it is. and poop. Now, the reason why this is coming up is because I keep seeing this again and again at work. Okay. Now, uh, we have two floors at work. <clears throat> and this is a tech kind of corporate thing in San Francisco. Uh-huh. And the bathrooms, you know, when you're at a urinal and you can just like see the dried urine like around on the top and, on the uh, top. Yeah. And it's just like, OK, oh, you know, fuck. the the cleaner comes not not frequent enough. Yeah. <laughs> they when should come in, oh, come Tuesday. Oh, okay. yeah, they should come by every three hours, but instead it's every three days. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. This could just be me. You tell me how you do and how you raise your your young your boys. Okay. Now, when you're on the john, okay, slinging mud, or you're being lazy, a lazy piss, which I always, <laughs> and I know it's very okay. anti dude. I always sit down to pee, especially at night, because I like to. Okay, when I'm when I'm I like to take a little, tired. I do agree take, with this. Take a wink. Take an extra bit if, of sleep if, when I can. If for some reason, because we're not, we're not. 40, 50 years old. Yeah. Days. So waking up in the middle of the night to take a piss is I probably drank a sixer <laughs> right. when I went to bed. So I got to take a piss. So if I'm awoken by piss, I do sit down because I'm, yeah. I'm usually I don't have to wake up for that. So if I do, I'm, I'm, I'm dead fucking tired. Yeah. And I, I don't know why I do this, but every time I'm on the toilet, I try to sleep. Like I'm so tired. And with the newborn, my eyes, like they just burn. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just catch a couple of winks. And I'm like, hold on, you're you're releasing you're either pissing yeah, pissing. I'm not <laughs> don't hopefully I'm not waking up in the middle of the night to take a dump. <laughs> and emergency dump. I'm like, you're gonna fall if like you're gonna fall off, you're gonna hit your head on the bathtub and you're gonna whiz everywhere <laughs> on yourself. So now, now if you fall off and you somehow hit your head and somehow die. Oh god. I hope that Raz would at least pull your pants up and or drag my- you to bed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> before your body was discovered, <laughs> right. or at least give me semi half mask. I would hope at oh, least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't need. Yeah. It was cold. It's in the winter. Oh, we yeah. don't have yeah. central yeah. heat yeah. and air in San Francisco. Prime pump, come on. Yeah. Now, there's this isn't just one person at work because I'm a shoe watcher. Mm-hmm. Like if I hear, the, okay, <laughs> I was too. Yeah, I'm too. If I I'm if I'm sitting there and slinging mud, updating my fantasy squad. <laughs> And I hear some some um, <laughs> some some uh, bowl splattering going on. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, that doesn't. They, their diet's a little off. And I'll just like I'll take a peek down. Okay, uh, red Vans. Okay. Or a uh, ooh dress shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Toe cap black. Toe cap leather. Okay. Gotcha. Um, okay. Mental note. And then when I see him around the office, I'm like, uh-huh. uh-huh. More vegetables for you, sir. Yeah. And the amount of times that I've seen guys. Yeah. Full 
Unbuckle the pants. As Chip is demonstrating, he's spreading. Yeah. He's Cerny. Squatty potty in right now. Squatty potty. <clears throat> pants, belt, down your whole belt and underwear and pants down around the ankles. Okay. So you're sitting on the bowl and you're nude except for your ankles are covered. But your pants and your belt Why? are like on the floor. Why? I don't know. <laughs> now... What kind of relays when you whenever you go into the bathroom and you see like a a young a kid like learning to use the urinal? Yes, their pants are all the way down and yeah. they're just standing butt ass naked, like <laughs> pissing into the urinal. But that's, they're like that's acceptable. they're like four or something, right? They don't yeah. really know like hey, they gotta it's learn. a lot of effort to like yeah. do that. You can just whip it out and then go. Yeah, but all the way, first of all, just the dirtiness. Okay, that how do you? I go to the knees. To the knees, yes. There's no reason. That's not reason. There's no reason to break the threshold of the knee to go. I can. Can you think of any? If it's a a fucking emergency and you just wipe them down, then yes, yes, yes. yes, Okay, I I can. But it's more effort to like. I mean, if you just just fucking rip like (laughs) break away pants. (laughs) <laughs> it is coming down to the wires to fucking photo finish, and you just oh, fuck. you're not thinking about it. Then <laughs> then fuck. Then I then I accept that. That's a good but point. <clears throat> if you just think but I mean, it, you're you're most people are on a shit schedule mm-hmm. in my mind. No, it's totally. If you're on a regular diet, it's... Yeah. then then you should know. You can go to the knees. <clears throat> Need, why? Why beyond? I don't. I, I don't know. Slacks? Is there something with slacks that you don't want to? Do, do you do you need to like spread your legs to like get more leverage? Maybe I don't. I don't take a really wide base either. <laughs> I don't really know how and why. And then now, now mm-hmm. for those of you listening, if if you want to let us know that that you go down the ankles and you have a good reason, chip and please show, gmail dot com. Tweet us. Tweet us. Facebook. Us. And we'll send you a sticker. Chip and Cern show. Yeah. We'll send you a fucking sticker if you tell us why. Give us a good reason. Yeah. Why, if you because I feel go like it, yeah, I'm not accepting that. Yeah, well, that's how my dad taught me. Well, your dad's a slap dick, <laughs> and you are too, apparently. Yeah, that'll be your fucking. Stick Why do you? Dick. I just I don't get it, and it just so it's so dirty. It's more effort to pull it all the way up. It is now. I don't know. I kind of wear jeans a little on the the fitted side. They're not super baggy, not junko jeans. Okay, <laughs> junko, but, <laughs> or they're not you know slacks or a suit. You know, a little bit looser, not as fitted. You're not part of the sing- insane clown posse. No, I'm not. I see poo. <laughs> and uh, get some nunnin. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I don't, so maybe it's harder for me to take my pants all the way down because it requires an effort. It does require an effort. I don't know. But shorts, I don't do it all the way down and just right to the knees. It just makes goddamn sense. Yeah, then you just pull right back up. We should. We should have got a woman's opinion on this. I wouldn't see women putting their fucking... They're more conscious of the filth that's on the ground. They are. I don't know how many times I have to be yelled at because I don't wash my hands when I come over from work. Mm -hmm. Right. I generally don't. I thought you were going to say after using the restroom. No, no, when I come over from work. Yeah. Germs all... I always give mine of germs. Yeah. You're a pretty clean guy. Pretty clean. Uh I don't worry about... All the germs, bathroom germs. Yes, I am very conscious of. But germs mm-hmm. from like outside. Eh. Now I've noticed in our bathroom we got some new um, office managers. You know, uh, front desk person. They kind of all the they, they manage the office. Yeah, which is probably one of the more thankless jobs there is. Yeah, okay. but. I noticed we got some new signs in the bathroom. We got a couple in the mirror that say, please wash hands. And then right before you walk out next to the door is a please wash hands with the, he looks like he's praying on the uh, okay. menorah. Yeah. Or not, mm, not menorah, altar? rosary. Oh, altar. Rosary. Altar. It looks like he has his hands together like Jesus. <laughs> and I'm like, this surfaced because there you was a complaint. The Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there was a complaint. Now, personally, I have counted probably three different individuals that regularly do not wash their hands after the urinal okay now that's a little foul in my opinion especially okay. since there's like shared office stuff like okay. they could be reaching in and grabbing the forks for lunch okay they could be turning on the faucet to fill a bottle of water up they could be 
reaching their hand in the mix nuts thing that everyone's getting at. Uh, you get my yeah, point. Yeah. So that's probably why now I don't know if there's a wash hands in the women's bathroom. I don't know. Ooh. They might have to, to be equal. Okay. But, you know, I just don't know <laughs> about that. Now. Now you're not going to, this may go on to another episode. Oh. You're not going to identify as a woman for one day just. Just to find just out. To if find, just to find out. If no, I do have a story about that, <laughs> but we'll save it for another episode. Sorry. Okay. okay. But um, <laughs> I have we have some women, luckily, that we know okay. that can report back okay. to us if there's a hand washing uh, sign in the bathroom. Okay. So my thoughts is that this is a um, a nurture thing. The pants all the way down to the floor rather than nature. Oh. So, I I toss it to you, Cerny. Okay. How are you nurturing your young youth in the restroom? This is, this could get sideways. <laughs> this could get very sideways. <laughs> but, so, I have a little guy. Yeah. And he's, th- he's, what's the, when's the potty training age even come? Um, Two? Two, three. So, he, late Girls two, are first, right, or something? I always... Yeah. So, okay. boys, because I have a boy. <clears throat> late twos, early threes, okay. and peeing mm-hmm. at the urinal, anything, or just anything, just not in your diaper. Yeah. Um. It's at first, it's like, oh, this is easy. Yeah, because it's like it's right there. Just pee. If you want to pee in the fucking yard, just pee, just pee wherever you want. Not in your. So diaper. it's kind of fun at first for them. Yeah, and you gotta, you gotta fucking stop every fifteen minutes because he wants to pee and whatever. So like when you're taking the dog out for a walk, yeah, every I, tree. I, I gotta, yeah. Now uh, after a while, you're gonna have accidents, with, at least with boys, because okay. they're lazy. If they're fucking playing, he ain't stopping playing um, to go pee. He doesn't want to do it. It's a good point. Um. He's been pretty good about not pulling his pants all the way down when he's mm-hmm. peeing because he doesn't want anybody looking at his butt, which is fine. Okay. Okay. It's good. Fair um, enough. Um, now, now there's the guys, too. I can't do this. I have a button fly gene. Okay. But there's the guys that just undo uh, at the ballpark. You're like, you don't see them move their belt, and they're just like, whoo. They're like, whoa, fucking magic. How'd you do that shit? <laughs> like, zip fly somehow got their, 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 their cock out of their underwear. With one hand and his piss, I would zip my dick up. I don't even know how that's possible. I agree. I would zip my dick up too. I no, I haven't taught him that. I'm not that good. Yeah. So there's your next teachable. Kids, were they, were they, when they teach them that, I don't know. I guess so. They so this people that at my work who put their fucking pants all the way on the floor on the pissed floor with, has <laughs> shed pubes on the floor. <laughs> their dad must have taught him that. But must that's be. how you shit. So I don't know. A little while ago. My little guy was three at okay. the time. We're in a store, and he decides he has to go poop. Fair yeah. enough. Happens to the best of us. Mm-hmm. Yep. So he says, I have to go poop. I says, All right, let's go. So they'll kind of announce this. To everybody. I okay. have to poop. No filter. No, no. He's, he should be on the Chip and Cern show. Yeah. He, he just yeah. decides that he has to poop and right now. So we go to the bathroom. Okay. And we're sitting in the stall. Well, he's sitting in the stall, and I'm standing there. Watching. So you kind of, like, guard the door and give him a couple pointers. Yeah. I got to make sure, because he's so small. Um, oh, he doesn't want to fall yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. So I got to kind of, like, watch that he doesn't it's fall teetering in. teetering so on the edge. So he's kind of holding on to the seat. Okay. And kinda, you know, yeah. Embracing. And then somebody, some other guy has to poop at the same time. So he comes in. Okay. sits down. My little guy, I'll show you not, looks underneath the stall. That was a good the shit. Yeah, yeah. show you not. Okay. Pardon the pun, or unpardon the pun. Um, looks underneath the stall. No, he's finished with his business. No, he's still mid. Oh, he decides okay. he sees a pair of legs next to him, and he yeah. wants to say, he looks underneath, oh, looks back. God. Hey, this guy's pooping. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and, and you, uh, for sure, the guy heard it and saw this like head poke under. Oh yeah, because he poked underneath there. This guy's pooping, <laughs> and um, I, and I said, yeah, Jeffrey, yeah, come on, no, no, yeah, come on, that's what yeah. I said, come on. But the guy, like, I would be like, <laughs> didn't, you didn't, know. didn't respond, didn't move, did nothing. Yeah. He so iced the guy, him. So then, he iced him. So he poked his head and said, hey, why are you pooping? Oh, Jesus. And I said, hey, hey, hey yeah. come on. Stop. Come on. Come, come start to laugh. And a you're trying bit. to fight back <laughs> laughter. Yeah. 
why are you pooping? Why? Ha-? He said, well, well, my butt hurts. I said, well, maybe his butt hurts. So he reached, pokes his head. Hey, hey, does your butt hurt? Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a Q&A session. Right. Poke your head out of there. Come on. Focus up. Uh, ask him if he had Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. Double Chipotle. Back-to-back Mexican. Double Mexican. So this Probably. guy doesn't respond. Which at this point, I'm like, come on, dude. I mean, yeah, this guy's like, this, it's just like, funny. Yeah, toddler. He yeah. just he wants to know. Well, f- you know, fuck, you're sharing a moment anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're sharing the fucking moment. Um, so, so then the guy starts blowing it up. Oh, like, God. Like, you hear, burr, pfft, you know, oh. <laughs> so, so then, so then, my little guy goes, oh, what's that smell? That guy's <laughs> poop speaks. I'm like, fuck, come on, man. Boy, pick yours off so we can leave. Right. <laughs> Hurry it up. I'm here. I'm getting double, double shit smells. Long story uh, short, the guy, well, long story long. Yeah. The guy, um. Uh, Blows it up, wipes it up, gets out of there. My Beat you guys guy. out. Yeah. Now. So now I'm pulling a chip and I'm looking okay. for shoes because I wanted, yeah. I, wanted to, I couldn't find them. Oh. They ran out. Is this in like a Lowe's or a Home Depot? Those toilets like a, are always got to be trash with the construction it was, workers. It was uh, like a, a Ross or a Marshall or something. Mm. I remember I wasn't, I was at the store for nothing that I wanted. You went with the missus. Yeah. I was drag. <clears throat> Now, here is something that I'll try to do, too. I don't – now, I'll always hear – I don't know if it's my diet or whatnot, but you got to like, well, it takes me 10 minutes just to get it going type of thing. Oh. And I will always just go f- get the business done, get out. Yeah. You know, sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll be on my phone, check Facebook, whatever. As a a, a show that I used to watch, mm-hmm. The League. No. Oh. A tinker stinker time. That's true. Yeah. Now I did fail on that because I had a pitcher on the bench. He got the like I could have got twelve points, but uh, he's on. He was on the bench. Well. I didn't tinker stinker. Now there's mm-hmm. no big failed in Cern's team, but we won't go into that. Okay. I'm winless. Yeah. Just, just... It's, we're bo- both of our teams are we're basement dwellers. Yeah. We're just garbage. Anyway. Oh, I thought. Oh, no, <laughs> I was no. waiting. For I'm like... not. I'm not talking about my team. I don't have one. <laughs> I'm here. I'm like, I even turned my head to the side. Like, okay, let's see what Cerny's gonna say. Nothing. I have nothing to say about these line things. silence. <laughs> <laughs> I will if I'm really ripping it up, and or like just dropping some nasty smell. I will try to get out, and like if I hear the guy flushing or the the toilet paper ringing, I'm like, God, I gotta hurry this up because I gotta beat him out. I don't, <laughs> I don't want him to see me. Yeah, I don't want ID. <clears throat> and then come, I was having a bad a bad day in there, and I looked down. And I've got a pair of red high top Chuck Taylors on. I'm like, this motherfucker has you. He's you're right. Your ID. Yeah, you look you're like bad. fucking clown shoes here. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna have to go change my sneakers oh, oh. back at my desk. So, so that's where you keep a, a spare, spare, oh, a spare group. So you're not ID'd. A spare pair. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Uh huh. You will not be ID'd. Now at my old job, I, I think I use like a lot of toilet paper. Like too much, an excess amount. So I sometimes clog the toilet. <laughs> now, in these in these office buildings, they don't fuck around. The toilet's not this low flow bullshit. No, they, this they one flush a fucking golf ball. Right. Down there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a whole a whole box of them. <laughs> now, for some reason, <laughs> almost like a space. Sounds plug. like the Challenger taking off. <laughs> like one of those uh, airplane Dyson, toilets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're unloading it, Cerny. You're 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 a freaking Clipping the oh, okay. with your with your uh, noises, I like it. Um, God, what was I gonna say? Right on the fucking <laughs> oh, clogging toilets. Yeah. So now these industrial strength toilets. One, if one flush doesn't do it, one surprised slash impressed. And then I'm like, okay, give it, let it, let the water settle again. Give it a second one that usually does it. Yeah. <clears throat> this one wasn't, yeah. and I don't like. When you walk into a toilet and there's like turds floating and stuff and the water's murky brown, uh, that just fucking wrecks your day. I have respect for some people and I will not leave this situation that way. Okay. I left it in a worse condition. <laughs> I flushed it a third time. Now, we've all been there. You've overflown a toilet, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. The water's rising and nothing is like the clog is still there and I'm thinking, oh shit, this is getting fucking <laughs> t- to the top here. It's closer and closer. Get closer, closer. Heart rate starts firing. <laughs> I was in zone five heart rate. 
it started coming over the top and falling on the floor of the water. Now, there's no poop in here. This is just, like, water. Yeah. And it starts going, and there's a guy in the stall next to me. <laughs> <laughs> and by this time, I'm, like, I'm facing it. Like, I'm buttoned up, my pants. This is why you don't have your pants on the ground. Yeah, this is why you don't have your pants on the ground. <laughs> and it starts going over, and the guy's like, oh, God. And I'm like, uh... And I just leave. Like, I just... <laughs> and it's leaking water out. Go and I, I see him, like... He, he's, pulling his, he's pulling his feet up like this, because the water's going... And he's like, oh, God. I'm like, uh... And I just, I just get out, wash my hands, and then I get out of there. And then, you know, two hours later, there's a sign on the thing, like, flooded <laughs> or whatever. And the, the, the land... The uh, janitor had to come up. Oh, but that's happened... Time and I've the times I've overflown my personal toilet. Okay. Just too many. <laughs> now this I just thought of this great story. <clears throat> you and myself, Chip and Cern, were invited to a family vacation with uh, Tony's family. Uh <laughs> when we were the ripe young age of twenty one. Like Fresh just 21. just turned twenty one. I mean the the, yes. the fucking vacation was in June and I was twenty one as of May. Yes, we went to New York for the first time. I've been to New York, and this was like my first non family trip. Yes, and one I can't even believe that we were invited. A uh, couple slapdicks I'm, like ourselves. I'm still I'm still right. <laughs> can't believe it. And we go as some of you that. Maybe the three that that listen and that don't really know mm-hmm. us. We weren't like trouble, but we were trouble. We weren't. We were trouble. We weren't gonna legally. rob a convenience store. Right. Yeah. But we would do shit that was no <clears throat> problematic. Yeah. So we went to the world famous Cardigan Deli. Yes. Where I ordered a Reuben just because you're That's why right not? Yeah. I did. How well. big was this fucking? It was as big as a plate. It was the a whole plate. plate. It was open, face. open face. I mean, how many slices of Swiss cheese? <laughs> Probably sick. Like, yeah, no joke. Was I mean, it, it was, was the biggest. I think I killed it. I'm not sure. Babe, no, no. no I we t- we half, took it half. We That's right. We, we took half. it back. And we didn't even put it in our fridge. Because we're we poor as fuck, too. Yeah. And Save this for later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll fucking crush this before the Yankees get <laughs> Now, was it just us three in the room? Yes. Okay. Now, we had our own room. But we had two beds and three guys. Yes. Which wasn't a problem. We had a, yeah, it was fine. It was okay. Yeah. Now, remember, we didn't, now we had a mini fridge. Uh-huh. And we were, we were going to keep our sandwiches in there. Like you have in had, your dorm room. Yeah. But I believe we had booze. We had too much booze in there. So we had to put it in Tony's sister's. Twin mini, sister's room. Mini fridge. Remember that? That's right. Because our stinky. sandwiches were stinking yeah. our, their room up. <laughs> now, speaking of stinking up rooms... I go in. This is Segway. <laughs> this is hours later. Like we're trouncing around Manhattan, and we come back to Jamaica Queens where we're staying, Ugh. which was a poor decision in, in retrospect. Now we actually had a person pull over and tell us we didn't belong there. Mm-hmm. Whitey didn't yeah. belong there. What? You guys don't belong here. Like yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah, we fucking noticed. <laughs> no <shit>. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get to my hotel on shot. <laughs> yeah, there's a bullet hole in the fucking elevator door. It was actually, <clears throat> but. We get there, and I'm like, guys, I got the meat shits. Because you get the meat sweats when you eat, t- you know. Yeah. And I go into the bathroom, and the the Reuben made a tremendous exit. <laughs> ass bomb. I mean, yeah, it was. I believe that's how you described it, ass bomb. Now, I clogged the toilet. Yeah. I'll, I'll say up front, I clogged the toilet. <laughs> right, yes, I was there. Now... <laughs> It was, you know, I'm sure it smelled the fucking high heaven. I don't, certainly might have more vivid memories than me. <clears throat> now, but the problem I remember was, hours later, uh-huh. this was. Oh, we left it. We left oh, my it. God. Oh, I forgot about this. We left it. We went Holy. to the bar. You fucking <laughs> shit it. And he clogged it. And I remember. Oh, and we just our, left? Our theory was the water will soften, soften the poop the t- up. And the teepee, yeah. And, and we can flush it again later, so let's just leave it. We'll go to the bar. Oh, my God. What and, a horrible decision and that then was. And at this point, the bars didn't close until, was it, four? Yeah. So that means we weren't getting home until, like, six, because we tried to ride the subway mm-hmm. drunk, and we took right. every fucking route. Because there was no, this is pre-Uber, and a fucking cab ride would have been 40-something dollars. Yeah, so we are just subwaying it. That's right, because in California, it's 2 a.m. last call, New York, four. four. So we're like, obviously, we have to be drinking till four. We went to Rudy's. 
with the giant pig in front drinking with the guy who I had John McEnroe's tennis ball where he just pulled the fucking yeah, that's tennis right. ball out of some bag he was carrying some hobo. Was it autographed or no? It was just no, it was just a tennis ball. Just know. a fucking it was some a, crazy fuck. You know, you try to hit a Jake hit off his beer and he's gonna fucking knock oh, you ass over. I don't remember so, that was You grabbed his beer and remember I thought I grabbed try to grab the tennis ball. No, you grabbed his beer first. Okay. You're gonna take a hit and Jesus Christ. And Tony's dad was like, uh, uh no. <laughs> but anyway. Time to go home. Yeah. Now, did we get back and then the thing was still clonked? Or was this yeah. a different? Like, no, I don't remember. I remember being us super... getting back. Okay. We took a shit in the evening. You, we took a, you took a shit in the evening. Like 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. or yeah. something. And then we went out. We came back. We were drunk and we yeah. fucking just went to sleep. And then, oh. remember, we got up and went to. We we're like going to go to the baseball Zoo games. Or okay. The, the, yeah, the baseball games. And we went to the fucking games. So this I, thing is saturated. Sitting there for like a, a 16, 18 hours. Oh my God. Getting back, and it was just smelled like a fucking porta potty. Oh. It was terrible. And then the hot it New York it, humidity. Oh, and it wouldn't flush. Oh. And we had to call the, the guy <laughs> so to this... come unclog our toilet. <laughs> and then at the hotel rooms, there's no plunger. <laughs> No. Now, I've even, at my personal house, gotten this industrial plunger. Yes. Just, I know what I can do sometimes. So, this yeah. is it. <laughs> now, we call the front desk. Yeah, we're in, uh, you know, 137, and our toilet's clogged. Okay. We'll send someone up. Us three slap dicks. <laughs> two, queen, two queen beds, probably. Yeah, yeah. We're in the kind of the corner of the room. <laughs> And this poor guy comes in. He has that clogged toilet. <laughs> and he has... <laughs> <laughs> he has a snake with him. Yeah, not, he Now, if you don't are not familiar with the snake, it, it is have, a... like an anaconda on him. Yeah, anything. it's a long, flexible metal... And it has like a handle, and you turn it inside like the pipe of a toilet so it unclogs the shit. Or, or your shower drain or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Of a drain. Yeah, now, it works with a pipe. How long do you think this... 15 feet, 12 feet, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it can go in there, yeah. and it can get some get some hair from, like, 50 years ago that your grandma yeah. used in the shower, and it would, like, bring it up. <laughs> anyway, this guy <laughs> is, like, We're gonna have a sweat. over <laughs> the toilet with the snake all the way in there, and he just, <laughs> like, trying to jar sweating. it loose, sweating. And we were laughing at him. And we were just on the bed, just doubled over in laughter. I remember him staring at us in the, because there was a mirror. So I remember him staring at us with this just I fucking hate disdain the my dis- life and I hate you <laughs> fucking assholes. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing. We I mean we just we were probably drunk still. Probably. Fresh and, off and trying to pay just, some guy to go through McDonald's drive through oh, for right. us because we couldn't because Tony's sewing up in the garbage cans before we get on the subway. Yeah, with the rats. Oh, God. Pissing on the tracks. Oh, and, Jesus, and, certainly. Oh, okay, boy. this all is right. the New York trip all over. <laughs> I mean, he was probably there for 10, 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And and we were so poor and such fucking idiots. We like we should have gave him 20 bucks. We you know, like, if it was me now, I'd have been like, I'm sorry about that. Here's a Harriet Tubman for yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> here's, here's something for you but uh, uh yeah we didn't we just laughed and mocked and oh. got the stare of <laughs> the poor guy like of defeat he was working really like it looked like he was doing a butter churn or something yeah done clogging the toilet and he just <sighs> well if you thought that episode was shitty it was it was it was literally <laughs> shit <laughs> poop Bathroom, at work, all the way to more misspent youth from Chip and Cern. <laughs> the and bathroom Tony. and misspent youth. Now, if you, for some reason, are still interested in hearing more of what we have to say <laughs> after that episode. Cerny, where would Chip we and go? Cern Show. Anything. Chip and Cern Show. Twitter. Amazing. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Patreon. Okay. If you, if Tell you, me if, more about this. So if you like, I like these guys. I want to donate to maybe... Support keep, their cause. Support their cause. Help take the the burden off their back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some shit. Like stickers. Yeah. Shirts. More for some, more for getting shit. Yeah. Just get some shit. <clears throat> so stickers, hoodies. Cern and I have a list going of other kind of cool swag and shit we'll give you. <laughs> Dream. Like if this person if someone gives us like a thousand dollars, 
What were we? A poster? A, a nude calendar. <laughs> Cerny offered to do a new 12 month calendar. They would. And um, yeah, stickers. A do- uh, pledge a dollar a month and you get a, some stickers. Uh, you Maybe can pledge. a guest spot? Whoa. A shout out? Something. Something. Um, that is on patreon.com slash chip and CERN. And like Cerny mentioned, chip and CERN show on any podcast aggregator iTunes, thing, whatever you name Attic, it. Was it Lisbon? Yes. And uh anything. Chip and CERN. Just 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 Google, Google Chip and shit. CERN show and something will come it up will that come will fit your needs. Absolutely. Your needs and your desires, your wants. Mm. Mm. And we really appreciate you guys listening and spreading the word. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Thank you. It Kindly. Does. It does. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Sir. And cheers.